Hi guys, I'm back with another video for you today. We're doing basically a first impressions of sorts of a new house called Perroy. Uh, here's one of the models, Pink Fire, as you can see right there. This is a sister house of Les Eaux Primordiales. I'm here with Arnaud Polan. He is the founder and creative director and perfumer behind the fragrances of Perroy. But also, you probably heard of Les Eaux Primordiales, which is a sister house of uh, Perroy. So they've got eight fragrances that they've launched with, and we're going to talk about them and smell them on camera. So if you want to find out about them, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. This is Arno. Nice to meet you. How are you? Yeah. Uh, I'm the founder of Peroy. It's my second brand. Uh, I launched uh, um, Les Eaux Primordiales uh, nine years ago. And uh, after many years, I decided to, to launch a second brand with a different uh, price point uh, and uh, another um, type uh, of customer. So, um, so it's a budget range? Yes. The prices are? <clears throat> it's more affordable. It's uh, 80 euro for 50 ml, 120 for 100 ml. And the idea is uh, to target a new kind of customer, uh, search a kind of perfume, very fresh, very uh, easy, uh, easy to smell, easy to understand, uh, and it's a kind of entry niche. Okay. So the fragrances are just launching if they haven't already launched, and they've got eight fragrances, really beautiful, colorful bottles, as you can see here. So are they unisex fragrances? Yes, uh, they are all uh, unisex. Uh, maybe the pink one uh, will uh, will be the favorite yeah. of girls, but uh, the, the the scent is uh, is a bit unisex. Cool, cool. So let's see which fragrance should we start with. My favorite, <laughs> the Ivory Sky. So it's uh, the first perfume I create. Ivory Sky because uh, the, the it's paradox. Mm. Uh, the the sky is blue. Yeah. But uh, there is two colors, ivory and sky. So uh, this perfume is universal because uh, the blue color is the favorite color of, of women and men uh, all over the world. Really? And uh, I decided to create a mood uh, very inspiring. So uh, it's a perfume uh, with sandalwood, with a lot of creamy wood, cedar, musk, vanilla, musk uh, a lot of ambroxan that I always use. Mm -hmm. We were just talking about ambroxan. Mm -hmm. He loves to use ambroxan and I was mentioning there's a lot of uh, ambroxan I've noticed in uh, the fragrances of this. It's a signature Mario. of uh, all my friend, my, my scent. And uh, so Ivory Sky. Is, is there a better for here? It's woody, it's creamy, it's, uh, it's a, a kind of vetiver, yeah. but um, not, uh, not too, too much masculine. Uh, I like it. Creamy wood. Yeah, creamy woody. Yeah, I can see this being universal, right down the middle of unisex. Yeah. Both men and women should find this appealing. Very, it's it's a range uh, of eight perfumes that we can present in eight minutes. Mm -hmm. It's uh, shall we do it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what's next? Um, so the second is a tangerine pearl. It's, this one is a sunrise in California. So um, I can see that in California. <laughs> the colors, <laughs> you know. So it's a perfume. Actually, uh, we are, we are always in the, in the winter time. Winter time. So it's a perfume that gives a smile. Um, sunshine in a bottle. Sunshine in a bottle, exactly. It's a grapefruit, uh, pomelo, ginger, orris. So it's spicy. It's, um, it's juicy. Juicy. Yeah, very really citrusy. Juicy. It's like the orange juice of the morning. Yeah, exactly. Uh, very fresh and gives you a smile, gives you a lot of energy. Very uplifting, guys. It's very, very uplifting. Very sunshine. It's like a sunshine in a bottle. Yeah. yeah tangerine pearl. Pearl. Um, that one's also very unisex. Yeah, yeah. I think yes. The, the range is very unisex, and I think this one's probably the most feminine. Yeah, maybe this one more masculine because of the colors. Uh. Maybe we can move for Blue Forest. Okay. So it's the most masculine perfume. The idea uh, in this perfume is to create uh, a very elegant uh, fougère, very modern because uh, Perrault is uh, uh, like the. Um, a futuristic brand uh, and it's the perfume of the dandy of the future okay so do i get mint uh Something. there is a lot of uh pepper black pepper okay. uh, aromatic note uh, there is a lot of fougère mm -hmm. uh, fougère uh, accord uh, but it's very modern 
peppery, woody, spicy. Yeah. spicy. It's uh, an elegant man uh, in two, uh, 2024 mm -hmm. uh, in uh, London. Gorgeous. Yeah, definitely leans, uh, leaning masculine for sure with that one. Blue Forest. Uh, maybe we can move to uh, blue, uh, Azure Blush. So Azure Blush is the most uh, feminine. It's uh, the perfume that you can offer easily uh, to every woman and it's universal woman fragrance. So it's a, um, a perfume with rose, rose, peony, very fresh at the, at the top note because of rhubarb. Yeah. Uh, there is rhubarb, there is lychee. Um, it's quite fruity. Fruity. Fruity and floral. A bit green, floral. Juicy and tangy as well. I guess I could say zesty. And always uh, some woody, creamy note at the, on the base. Is there something lactonic in here? Or? Yeah, I love the, the lacton uh, inside the perfume. Mm -hmm. And it's a co perfect combi combination with uh, rhubarb, lychee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see women liking this one. So the brand is very young, right? You're targeting the younger generation, perhaps? Uh, yes. For example, we use uh, AI to create uh, the, the visual of the brand. Mm. Uh, it's very modern. Uh, we will target the young people with um, a, a lot of um, content on the TikTok. But it can be easily wear by uh, an elegant man of 50 years, for example, uh, for, um, uh, for Blue Forest. Ivory style is typically universal for every age. Um, maybe this one is more young. That's my favorite so far. Mm -hmm. I really love that. Really, really cool. Yeah. And now uh, we move to Mao Gennison. So Mao Gennison is a perfume of uh, holidays. Is this the one they were manufacturing in there? Yeah. Yeah. We we we, we manufacture. Uh, we fill this bottle inside uh, our manufacturer. So the manufacturer is uh, inside the domain, so we visited uh, together and uh, it smelled very, very... It smells uh, so good in there. So, so good, very diffusive. I think it's the most diffusive perfume that we have in the range. Mm. And uh, it's very floral, fruity. Um, we, uh, we use a lot of lactones. So for aldehyde... Yeah, I was going to say it's creamy as well. Yeah. Jasmine and aldehyde, mm. the, the top notes. And uh, some f um, floral, but uh, white, white, floor, white flowers. So the fragrances, are they all your ideas? And how do you collaborate with Amélie Bourgeois? If I didn't mention already, the fragrances are co-created between Arnaud and Amélie Bourge Bourgeois. So how do you guys work? Uh, in, in fact, it's like uh, an architect and an engineer. And Amélie is an engineer and I'm the architect. So we are working together. And, um, and uh, with the studio flair, so Amélie and Sophie and, uh, and uh, the rest of the team, uh, they are very magical, they are very strong, uh, they are very uh, creative uh, in, perfumery, in perfumery. And we are working um, with an open formula. So I always work uh, on, the, on the formula together with Amélie. Mm. So do you visit Paris uh, all the time? Or yeah, does she yeah. come here? We have an, uh, an office in Paris, uh, and we are. It's a showroom where we are presenting Oquimardial, Perroy, and our society, our third brand. Cool, cool. So let's try the next uh, fragrance. Next one, Pink Fire. So this is a perfume, uh, very sexy. Maybe you will wear ivory style for the day, mm. and of the evening, you have not the time to come back home. So you just uh, keep with you Pink Fire and it's the perfume to go to the cocktail and uh, be very sexy. It's the color of, um, of uh, I don't know, uh, it's very sensuous. It's hot and spicy. It's spicy. Patchouli? Um, there is patchouli, there is a, a pearl, um, very modern wood. Modern woods. Modern wood. Amber wood. Mm. This is very modern. I like this one. This is very strong, very diffusive. Uh, it's a perfume um, that all people will smell in, in, a, in a party. That's great, yeah. It's just like the spiciness of it. Yeah. It's very alive. It's very strong, very diffusive. All right, that uh, is uh, Pink Fire. Pink Fire. Mm -hmm. Now, Blonde Purple. Like, so what is it called? Blonde Purple. Blonde Purple. I like that name. <laughs> This is the most unpredictable perfume that we have uh, in this range. 
um, the idea is to create the, the skin of a passion fruit. Oh, wow. Passion and mango. So it's very fruity, very juicy. Uh, it's got that rind, that pith. It's kind of green also. Yeah. Is there greenness in there? Yes, because on the, on the mango, you, you have the exotic notes and you have also the, the mango of the skin and uh, the skin of the mango, it, it's very green. Wow, that's interesting. But I like it. Yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> Sometimes when you say it's interesting, it's like, mm, I'm not sure about it, but no, so, that's good. I can see this working in the summertime. Yeah, on the summer, it's really nice. Yeah, and then there's on rocks and then here as well. Uh, not sure on this one, mm. but for sure there, there, is, uh, there is a lot of musk. Okay. And uh, we are selling a disco reset on our web shop, and uh, it, um, it's very easy to, to smell the A fragrance. And uh, we offer uh, 20, uh, 35 euro of discount oh. uh, if the people buy the under the uh, So you can disc buy the, the disco reset, uh, try, and maybe. That's great. Want. That's a great incentive. So you can get the discovery set for 35. Mm. So we were just told that the discovery set is 25. If you buy the discovery set and you like a fragrance and go buy a bottle, you get $25 off of the purchase of the uh, purchase price of the bottle of 100 ml. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the most majestic gold farm. What is it? Gold farm. Gold farm. And uh, it's the only perfume uh, that we use gold. And the pump are silver, and this one is gold Whoa. because it's the most uh, very delicious. So the color matches the the, the range. Yeah, that's great. This is definitely the most strong perfume uh, we have in this collection. It's va vanilla fragrances, uh, vanilla, vanilla, sandalwood. So it's a creamy wood, very majestic, very uh, voluptuous. Yeah. Uh, it's very, very warm. Very warm. Yeah. yeah. I, I think my favorites are the first and the last. These two Golden Fawn and Ivory Sky. I would wear those. Color well, matching very well. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I create a um, payroll, like a palette of moods. So every color is a mood, a different mood. And maybe uh, on the morning, you need an orange juice to be uh, very, uh, very to wake up. To wake up. Uh, and um, there is eight mood, and uh, you can do uh, our quiz uh, on the on the workshop. Oh, there's a quiz to to help you to choose your fragrance. Wow. So what does Peroy mean, by the way? Uh, Peroy is uh, the, so the inspiration come from the place where we are, and um, so for example, this is a mood palette. So it's a disco reset. And you can uh, bought for lots of colors there. Twenty five euros, and uh, and discover all the fragrance. Uh, eight times two dot five ml. Yes. And Peroy, Peroy come from the place where we are. Uh, we are inside the forest. We have a castle uh, of uh, two century, and there is a, a forest uh, around, and it's called uh, Forêt of Peroy. Mm. Great, and uh, the brand has launched here. If it hasn't already, it's launching very soon and hopefully soon in the States. Yes, uh, the brand will be launching in uh, two weeks uh, on the 1st of April. And uh, very soon we hope uh, to, be, to be represented in the US. Uh, there is a lot of partners who want to, to help us, but uh, we will launch in Europe and very soon in the US. Great. Well, do you have anything else to say about the brand? Uh, no, I think... Uh, we take the tour. So guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. That's a quick video that we decided to put together of this brand, Peroy. Just remember, it's the sister brand or sister house of Les Eaux Primordiales. Hopefully you guys have discovered the brand already. If you haven't, please check out my videos to learn more about the brand, Les Eaux Primordiales. But other than that, thanks so much for watching. As I said, if you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video, please share it, uh, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. Goodbye.